Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Valheim. Don't forget if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So today's the day I have both been looking forward to and dreading. Because <laughs> we now need to go do dungeons in the Black Forest. And this is not going to be fun. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm actually going to... Let's do this first, actually. I'm going to... Uh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. We're going to get rid of this stone axe. Uh, I really don't need to be carrying a lot of this, but I'm going to. Um, I definitely want to carry the pick with me. All right. So we'll grab some wood. I'm going to grab some flint. We're going to make an extra flint axe. Now we could make the... Uh, we could make the uh, 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 um, stag breaker, but if we're going to be doing dungeons, we need to hold a torch. Uh, so the stag breaker is two-handed. It's not going to help us. Uh, I should probably have two full tor torches with me. So let's grab uh, one of these. And we already have wood on us, so... Go ahead and make a new torch. There. And I'll just leave that partial one here for now. Uh, actually, I might as well carry it. It's not going to hurt anything to carry it, I guess. Um, so, yeah. We're going to head to the Black Forest. And... See if we can find a dungeon. Now, this Black Forest, I do believe, is to the south. So we want to head that direction. We'll go out the back door here. thought I'd mess this up. I tried to level this out a little bit and lowered it too much. Um, but I did get it leveled out so that the door isn't half buried anymore. And this isn't quite so bad of a hump. But, uh, yeah. And I did figure out that you can carry axe and torch at the same time. So that's what we will do once we get into a dungeon. So we'll be able to see. Uh, we might also use our... Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, I made more fire arrows, so we got those. Let's go ahead and eat... No, let's go ahead and eat some food. There... When we got that already, we'll eat that. Okay, so that should get us buffed up on health. All right, let's head south, Growler. This definitely looks like Black Forest. Let's say, yeah, it says Black Forest on the thing. Oh, here's a little warning plaque. Uh, yep, well, beware the gray dwarfs, Growler. A gray dwarf don't square, square, don't scare Growler. Don't make Growler talk. <laughs> Shut up. Oh dear. I hear one of them. I hear somebody. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here comes a whole crew of them. Well done, Growler. I'm going to chop that down. Alright, cool. So, three great orbs dealt with. That's good. We need to get tin and copper. Ooh, we are not screwing with him. Actually, can we screw with him? Oh, no. Move, Growler. Ow! Growler, don't let him hit you again. Oof. Yeah, we've we've definitely got it. Oh, and now we've got Dwarf chasing us, too. <clears throat> we have definitely got to stay clear of him. We are doing damage to him. <sighs> dwarf is... Oh, and now we're out of stamina. <laughs> oh, dear. If it weren't for the Dwarf, I think we'd be in good shape. But he is definitely a kink in the armor here. We hit him. Or we. He wandered off, I mean. There we go. K. 
can we continue hitting you from a distance? Can we waste ammo, Growler? Come on. All right, let's skip that. Oh, we, we were doing damage to him. Not a lot, but we were doing some damage to him. I think we could have eventually wore him down and took him. But uh, I think we're going to try to avoid him for now. We're looking for a dungeon. What we want to get is those, what you call it, the little square things. Oh, for goodness sakes. No. Stop it. Go away. Okay. There's another one. Ow. Come back here. He's a bit tougher. So at least the Grey Dwarves aren't a serious threat anymore. As long as we don't get ganged up by them, I think we're in good shape. But I think we've moved out of the forest. Looking for... Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, let's just take all of that. Um... Yeah, we need to find dungeons so that we can get in and uh, get those little square things, whatever they're called, something cores or something like that, I don't remember. Uh, and then we can actually start getting out and harvesting copper and tin and start making bronze weapons and armor. Here's another house here. We're back in the meadows. Darn it. All right, well, it's going to take me a while to find a place because they are not easy to find. I'll bring you guys back when I've found one. Ow! What does... Oh, stupid pig, go away. Uh, as you can see, we found the troll again. The pig is not helping me at all. No, 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 no. Come on, Growler, move. Ow! That hurt. We are out of stamina. The pig is dead. Definitely not helping matters. But we've got this guy worn down pretty good. If I can get some space from him again. I think I'm going to have to deal with this stupid pig. I really hate to bring this guy in here. Destroying this... <laughs> destroying this perfectly good farm. Oh, grayling die. Oh, he missed. Thank goodness. Alright. Oh, there's no ne neck. I cannot get distance from this guy now. I was doing good earlier. Before, before I started the recording, of course. Come on, Growler. Get moving. Recover stamina. Switch your bow. Shoot him. No! Ah, oh God, he killed us! <laughs> I thought I could, I could just jink and run under his arm there, but nope. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> Hush, Growler. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to recover Growler's corpse now. <laughs> At least it should be a relatively safe spot, because. Uh, the troll should head back to the forest. But that little area of black forest there did not seem to have any um, um, thingies, uh, uh, dungeons in it at all. So uh, I noticed it looks like there's a body of water there. I'm not sure how wide it is. I'll look when we get down there. But there's a body of water there. And it looks like on the other side of it, there's a lot more black forest. You know, why didn't I do this? I completely forgot we have this power from Enkthir. Alright, let's head down... Actually, it's this way. And pick this up. I'll go ahead and pick up Growler's corpse, and we'll go from there. Well, I was about to give up and say... Because this forest, it turns out, is teeny tiny down here in the south. But then... Little Birdie actually pointed this one out to me. I heard him squawking at me and saw him over here and came over and sure enough, here was a dungeon. I don't know what's in it, but we're going to find out. 
Alright. Nope. I want that. Can I, can I please have the right stuff out? There we go. And let's go inside before the troll gets to us. Okay. Alrighty here. Looks like... Looks like we only have two directions we can go. Can we get the mushroom over here? Oh, maybe... Does that... No, that doesn't look like it opens. Alright. Let's go right first. Oh, hello! <laughs> he just standing there waiting for me! Oh, dear. Can I, uh... Nope, nope, nope. I just want to... Oh, God, I wish I had my shield. Nope. Ow! Boy, even through my shield, that hurt. Got him. There we go. Uh, we picked up... Ooh, what's this on the ground here? Nothing. Okay, I thought there was something there. We'll grab those. Well, that got us a little bit of bone, at least. We get enough of that, we can upgrade our leather armor. And there's one... It's their certling cores. Or certling cores. Certling cores. So we got one. I don't remember how many we need. We need, like, ten or something. All right, you come out here where I have a little bit more room to work with you. Can I switch to my shield and have you? You know what? The shield wasn't really doing me any good anyway, so screw it. There we go. Cool. Okay, how are we doing food-wise? Uh, let's go ahead and have another bite of that. All right, so far so good. Some more bones. We can definitely use those. I hear stuff, but I'm not. Let's... Wait, did something just move? Did you just hear grinding? I'm definitely hearing grinding sounds. Boy, this I need to zoom in more because it's really hard to see. Mushroom. Oh, and I forgot to turn off Discord again. Sorry. Ow! What hit me? Oh, it's stupid archer. Yeah, come on out here, stupid. Oh, we're running low on something there. Good. We'll switch to mushrooms. They're a bit more effective. Really? There we go. Oh, I think that's a spawn point. Ooh, there's another one right here. Well done, Growler! Yeah, Growler's pretty good at dealing with done dead. <laughs> Apparently you are. Take these other mushrooms here. Okay, ooh, wait a minute. So we... I'm trying to point at that. Coins! Okay, I think we came in through here. Yeah. So what's down here? We don't feel rested anymore. Another door. Another skeleton. Hi there, you. God, this torch is, like, blinding me. <laughs> it's almost as bad to have it out as to not. Looks like this may just go in a circle here. Come on, more cores, please. Give me that. That's caved in. So I've only done this once before, and I did this with my friend. <laughs> we are going deep, Growler. Growler likes you deep. Oh, it's a dead end with nothing here. Ugh. 
all that, and there was nothing down here for us. Boy, they did a good job of making these things terrifying. Small space, dark, and, uh... Okay, there's where we came in. Small space, dark, undead, creepy noises. Ooh, certainly core. Just one, though. Oh, well. We'll take it. It's in the chest. No, we'll... Oh, really? I'm full up? Oh, God. Uh, we'll get rid of the rocks. Can I just drop those? Yeah. Get rid of the rocks. I don't want to... We got a bee. That ought to be handy. I'll get rid of this. I don't need the raw meat. I don't need any more dwarf eyes. Can we take all of this now? No. We're short one thing. What do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of wood? I don't want to get rid of the feathers. I really need feathers. Let's get rid of this almost dead torch. There we go. And we can't pick up the stupid amber pearl. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll get rid of the wood, too. Well, I think that's all the stuff we dropped. Man, we've only got two cores so far for all of this. Alright. Alright. We still have a lot of dungeon to do. No. Heck with you. Come here, you. And you get destroyed, too. Before you can spawn another... Oh! Hey, thank you for waiting! <laughs> Appreciate that! <laughs> well, these guys hiding behind the doors. Jeez. Okay... Two more cores there, I see. Three more cores. One, two, three. We will be able to do a kiln at least. I don't know if we'll be able to get the other stuff made, but we'll be able to do a kiln. So we've got five. So I think it's five each that we need. Um, which way did we come in here? Right here. Okay, here's where we came in originally. Oh, is that it? Did we clear out this whole dungeon? Man, and this thing was hard to find, too. That's so disappointing. I just want to look in here again. There was no other room off this, was there? No. Okay, well, we got five cores. I'm going to have to find another dungeon to do the rest of the stuff. But this is a start, at least. But it looks like one torch per dungeon. <laughs> Man. Okay, swap that for my shield. Zoom back out to my normal view. The troll's gone. I used half my arrows trying to kill that troll earlier. All right, well, let's head back and, uh, you know, maybe we can go ahead and get the kiln built. Yeah, one nice thing when that troll was trying to kill us, he knocked down that tower, which had a beehive in it. And we are 45 seconds from being able to use our Enki thing again. Uh, he knocked down that tower, which had a beehive in it, and so we got a bee... So now we can actually make a beehive. So that'll be pretty handy. We'll go ahead and get that built. And we'll get our kiln built. And then I'm just going to have to find another dungeon somewhere. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to try going to the north. Um, I think it's going to be a lot longer trip. Oh god, I'm so sick of running out of stamina. Um... Yeah, maybe go up to the north and see if uh, there's some black forest up there. I'm pretty sure there is. You can sort of see here where this is black forest, and I suspect up here this is black forest too. Ooh, can we... We may not be able to cross that without a boat. This might be some black forest along here, but I don't think so. If there is, there's not much of it. We sort of got cheated on black forest with this map. There's not much of it. 
All right. I mean, it was, you know, reasonably close to our house, but... So we got a lot of... One thing that sort of surprised me here is it seemed like, you know, we're on an island. We're, you know, pretty much surrounded by water everywhere. There's not a whole lot of... Uh, a whole lot of... Put stuff away. Of... Um, land for us to explore around us repair all that stuff let's see let's get this out uh, let's put it back away and go outside <laughs> um do i have room up front here let's go ahead and try it uh, let's get the right thing out okay crafting yeah see now we can build the smelter and the kiln and of course we can do this as well, a beehive. We're gonna need some stone. I wanna go ahead and we'll just go ahead and we'll get what we can build built. And uh we're gonna to have to put some stuff away first, aren't we? And then uh between episodes I'll go and we should be able to upgrade both his his leggings and his his tunic. So that's great. Uh nope. There. Feathers. I'll go ahead and put the tin in there for now. We got a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with here. That goes there. Goes there. We got rubies. So we'll stick the rubies in here with the gold and the other stuff. And the amber oh. and these are food so we'll put those in here put that there and I've been pulling the flint arrows in here actually I haven't had that many I thought I had then I'll hang on to the bees for now we're gonna need them or B uh, actually I'm gonna hang on to that we might need it okay so let's grab wood there we go. And stone. It's getting late. Okay. It's really getting late. Okay, kiln. Boy, this is a really tight area. Actually, I think I'm going to turn it this way. Really tight area here. There. So we've got our kiln. Now let's go around to the back here. We need a little bit more room back here. And oh I think we need I think we need a lot of open space for this too. Uh we'll see if it'll work. Beehive. I can't see because it's gotten dark yet. Now I can see. Uh so let's Oh man, I don't know where to put this. Okay, let's see how that worked. Bees need more open space. I'm going to leave it there and see if anything happens with it. Uh, but it sounds like I'm going to end up having to move it. But I can't see anything, so let's go ahead and call it a night. All right. Well, we are halfway there. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to end up having to search around some to find another dungeon to get our other five uh, uh, um, uh, uh, certling cores. And once we have our cores, I can build our furnace. What's it called again? The smelter. I can build our smelter, and then we will be able to... So I can go ahead and start making charcoal. There we go. And it goes the furnace goes through charcoal like crazy, too. So we're going to need a lot of it. Um, but I'll get that one made, and we'll set that right over here. 
Um, and I'll have to remember to set it up facing the right direction. I didn't like the sound of that. Okay, what made that noise? Oh, that's the kiln. I, th I thought it was something attacking us. It's just the kiln doing its charcoal thing. All right. <laughs> All right, folks, that is going to be it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Good for you. You know, builds character.